Well, what is going on, everyone? We're gonna open a Monarch first edition booster box. This is for my patron, Chad. Chad has been a, a loyal patron for a long time, a good person, good, uh, hangs out on Thursday nights and plays some some flesh and blood with us. Uh, it's good. We have a armor event tonight, actually, Thursday night for Kitchen Table TCG Discord server. Uh, yeah, so it should be good. Um, we're on audio. I just watched 45 minutes on how to set up a a um, compressor, uh, which, you know, is embarrassing because I have a... Uh, where's a knife? Do we need a knife? All right, Chad, let's hop in. We don't have any free packs. We don't have any... Um, we don't have any free packs. We don't have any patron pack today. I'm out of unlimited. I should have some more hopefully soon. Um, but we did... We already hit our quota for the month, which I owe patrons. Uh, so if I can find more, I will. But... Uh, I was trying to do one. I just never got any more products. It's it's non-existent. Um, so anyway, that's uh, I'm embarrassed by my audio because I do have 85% of a audio engineering degree from college. But college was a long time ago, everyone. And uh, I only know how to use one program. So uh, yeah, that being said, Chad, here we go. And OBS is hard. OBS is tough to use. If anyone's ever done this. Uh, OBS is tough to use. So we're, we're learning as we go here in uh, Kitchen Table TCG. Blinding Beam. Boom. I love that card. It's beautiful. We're learning as we go and as we get time to invest in uh, in setting stuff up. So I'm trying to make it good for everyone. Trying to make it nicer. Just, you know, bear with me. We're working on microphone placements. and Anyway, uh, let's hop in. Let's talk. Oh, dude, the Blood Tribute artwork is different in first edition. I'm trying to make sure everybody knows that because I think that's going to mean... Uh, that those cards are a little special. I think that's going to be a, a pretty decent pull. I think right now they're selling for like eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. When I did my update, it was 10. So I'm assuming it's gone down a little bit like the rest of the cards. But uh, yeah, Monarch going well. Uh, you know, I don't know, guys. I think I think this set's here to stay. I think the, the set's been accepted well. Uh-oh, stubby freaking hammers. This is... This is the third stubby hammers in this case. This is the third, let me, let me repeat that. This is the third stubby hammers in this case, everyone. Gosh, freaking, I hate it. I hate, I hate the duplication. I have been complaining for a month about the duplication. Since before Monarch came out, I'm just joking. I don't know. Man, this is the third stubby hammers in this case. That's nuts to me. That's nuts to me. All right, moving on. Uh, that's an early, that's an early cold foil though. All right, Chen, that's an early cold foil. Don't get lost. Don't get upset. Herald of Rebirth. There we go. Uh, and Prismatic Shield. Uh, I think that's in the case. I, maybe I'm just putting them all together, but I feel like in the last three videos, we hit a stubby hammers every time, maybe. I feel like that's true. I might be wrong. Go back and watch. Let me know if I'm wrong. I can't keep up with them. I can't. I can't keep up with all the boxes. Uh, yeah, so it seems like it's here. It seems like people have received it well in terms of collectability. It seems like we've received... Smash with Big Tree! Smash, smash, smash! Hulk smash! I cannot wait to play this card. The problem is you would never play this card in, like, a constructed deck. I mean, two costs for seven is good, but there's, like, no other effect. I've never even read this. Sure, they're strong, but they're... I've seen rocks more intelligent. Man, who's who's Harold Honeyset? Bonus points in the comment section if you can tell me who Harold Honeyset is. Uh, and I want to know what those things are too. Like, do we have a name for what kind of type of creature that is? I should go get my D and D handbook out. We should we should look through it. Oh, and a Raiden. There we go, Chad. I like it. I like Raiden. That card's cool. That card's good. Uh, if you charge, it gets plus three. It's a zero attack for three. Pretty dang good. There's our first Majestic. That's a good way to start it. Uh, what's not good is that you're a quarter of the way through the box, and that's your first Majestic. So that doesn't feel great. But other than that, you're doing great, man. It's, uh, as George would say, you're doing great. All right. Uh, Tremor and Battlefield Blitz. Uh, yeah, so Stubby Hammers... Raiden, I don't know. So I think what what's uh, what I'm trying to say is I feel like the collectors have said, yes, we love the set. What I want to know, what I want to see, and what I can't wait to see is, oh, Soul Food, there's our second Majestic. What I can't wait to see is how players react. And I, the sealed format, everyone loved. We all love sealed. Uh, that was great. It was a huge win. And I know that's a huge point or huge, uh, 
huge you know, point of contention for LSS. They want CO play to be really good. Uh, I think it was phenomenal. I, I got to play, I think I played two, I think I played two CO. I played sealed with my friend um, and I played sealed uh, at the, at the LGS for pre-release. Um, sealed was fun. I wish I got to do it more, but sealed was fun. The question is, how will this set kind of interact back into the other sets? Like, uh, you know, how will, how will these decks interact with the metas? And that's what, that's what, you know, the next couple of weeks, I think we'll really learn. Um, Bolt of Courage. All right. Uh, that side of the box was not very good. Happens to be the right side of the box. I mean, I guess we got our, our coal foil. It's just with a bad coal foil. Okay. Um, left side chat this is where we get serious on the channel is the left side of the box uh so it'll be interesting to see how we as players react to the new set and to the cards sonata arconics my man please make it a play mat please lss i don't ask for much i don't ask for anything i just want that to be a play mat and i want packs to be sorted better i want the collation to be better but that one's not your fault that's on carter monday please tell carter monday to do the pack sorting better and then make Sonata Arconics a playmat. Most importantly, the Sonata Arconics playmat. Okay, uh, Prismatic Shield. There we go. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I, I've been trying to talk to our uh, Kitchen Table TCG competitive team who has tryouts. We have tryouts for a competitive team on Saturday. Um, I've been trying to talk to them and be like, hey, does anybody have deck techs? Because I want to try some stuff out. Uh, and they're better at the game than me. So if I can get some some guidance from them. I want to try out um, Hexagore. Uh, I want to, here, I've got one set over to the side because I wanted to play around with it tonight. I just really want to make this really good. Like a two cost for six attack. I want to make that card really good. I want to figure out a way to break that. Uh, it seems really strong. Uh, what do we get? Consuming Aftermath. Um, it seems like a card that could be really good. And then, yeah. Two pops for six is great if you can give a go again or some bonuses or something like that. So that's my task. My task is break that. All right, Rally Rear Guard. All right, Chad, this is quite possibly the worst box I've seen. Uh, this might be the worst box on the channel so far. Three Majestics, one Cold Foil Common. Chad, you're a good dude. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. I've never watched a box opening of my own box. I, I bet you it's not fun to watch somebody like open packs for you like i bet you it's just like rouse the ancients there's a majestic i bet you it's just exhausting watching your money just drip away uh all right seven packs you feel nervous yet man? let us know in the comment section chat you nervous you nervous we got a stub hammer that's all right that's a 125 bucks rally the rear guard all right herald of judgment seeping shadows i don't feel good about this one I don't like those. I like feeling good about opening boxes. That's what I like to do. I like to open a box for a patron and have them feel good. I don't like it when it's sad. I don't like that. That's sad. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be sad for you, man. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but here we are, and I'm still sad for you. I'm still sad for you. All right, uh, out muscle and howl from being. All right, I feel like something, something good is coming up. Something good, some some nice little card here. A nice little round rectangle. A nice little round rectangle. A nice little expensive rectangle is coming out. We're gonna get an expensive rectangle soon, everyone. Shadow of Urser, not the expensive rectangle we were talking about. That is your fifth majestic. So, eh, this might be it, man. Uh, four packs left. Let's see if we can get you an expensive rectangle, man. I want an expensive one. Give me a pricey rectangle. Give me a library. Everyone get your library card in. Come. No. Dang it. I thought that would work. 20% of the time works every time. All right. Chad, three packs left, dude. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, I wish it was going better. I wish it was going better. Uh, we never named him. Did we name him? I really got to read my comments more. I don't remember if we named him or not. Uh, Ode and How from Beyond. All right, two packs, Chad. Two packs left. Last pack magic, maybe? Second to last pack magic? I've heard of people pulling the library in their last pack. All right, there's our foil majestic. At least we got one. I was a little worried there, man. Uh, Deep-rooted evil foil. Uh, that card's cool. It's nice, beautiful. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. 
All right, and how from beyond. All right, we need some last pack magic, Chad. Chad, check. Check, we need some last pack magic. Chad, we need some last pack magic, man. All right, we got, we got it, we got it. This is it. Library's coming out. It's coming out. Call it right now. Library. You heard it here before it was pulled. What? <laughs> it's trolling us. It's trolling us. Uh, front line. Chad, that was, uh, that was not a good box, man. I am, uh, I'm not sorry, but on behalf of James White at LSS, I am sorry. Uh, you got yourself a Stubby Hammers, which is just turning into something on our channel, man. Uh, you got yourself a Stubby Hammers, a Deep Rooted Evil, and then five, eh, Raiden's good. You know, that's good. Rouse, maybe, Sonata, maybe. Uh, can't sound on those ones. Uh, but all in all, I would say this is a, a five. This is a 50 percenter. Uh, poo poo. Yeah, yeah. This is poo poo. This is this is what we call box. It is officially poo poo when you get a cold foil common, a, a lame. It's not lame. It's just not a good majestic. You know, it's no celestial cataclysm. And then again, like no real. I guess you got one generic. These were good. These were good. We'll give it a six. A sixty percent. Slightly, almost really poopy, but just kind of poo poo. All right. Chad, thank you for the support. I'm sorry that I didn't pull better cards for you. The rest of you guys, I hope you have a great day. Remember, be kind to people around you. And uh, we'll do a WTR video tonight. And then we're back to regular content, fun content, not just, you know, the weekends now are fun content. Friday, Saturday, Sunday are fun. Kitchen Table TCG the content. And then the rest of the week is market updates, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, as I kind of space out some more time in my life, we'll scatter some more videos in there. So thanks for being on the channel. Appreciate you. Remember to be kind to the people around you.